It's a pirate's life for me. Savvy? Good morning, Pirates, and welcome back to another fabulous day here on Pirates Unplugged. I'm Jack. And I'm Ava. Today is Wednesday, April 25th. Here's today's school news. Next week, we will have a Hoops for Hearts to raise money for the American Heart Association. We are competing against Clark to see which school can raise the most money. Next Monday, students will be able to wear crazy socks with their favorite shoes for $1. Next Wednesday, you will be able to wear a red shirt for $1. Next Thursday, you will be able to wear a hat for $1. Volleyball tryouts will finish today from 2.45 to 4 p.m. It's time for a new box tops activity, and we will have six exciting options for you. On May 11th, we will have a drawing for the following gift cards. iTunes, Krispy Kreme, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Amazon, and Dairy Queen. We will have gift cards to each grade level, and you can enter the drawing with just five box tops. You will also receive a sweet treat for each raffle slip you submit. Be sure to pick up your raffle slips from your homeroom teacher or see Dr. K in room 105. Scantron testing continues this week on Thursday and Friday for our 6th and 7th grade students. Please eat a good breakfast and get good night sleeps on those days. 8th graders, you'll finish your Scantron testing on Monday the 30th when you take reading. Also, 8th graders, the Shakespeare field trip is next week on Tuesday. The Scholastic Book Fair is just 13 days away. This year's theme is May the 4th of a Good Book Be With You. Later announcements, we will have another video trailer previewing a book available at the fair. Did you know our band has a spring concert coming up? It will take place on May 3rd at Davidson High School. Also coming up in May is our NJHS induction. That takes place on Friday, May 4th at 1230. Attention current NJHS members and those being inducted. All keepsake orders are due to Miss T. Martin tomorrow, so get your order turned in as soon as possible. Now for our news segment. In national news, there are two stories of people being good Samaritans. In Washington, D.C., a car drove onto a sidewalk to avoid a collision. When doing so, the driver pinned two people who were walking on the sidewalk under their car. A large group of bystanders ran over to the car and physically lifted it off the ground, saving these people's lives. In Montana, a woman who was stranded on top of her car caught in freezing floodwaters and a passerby literally swam to rescue her. Now that's being Americans. For today's lunch to munch on, we'll be having bacon potato soup and mozzarella sticks. That's all for News Pirates. I'm Ava Zedeker. And I'm Jack Garino. Only 21 more days of school left. A special note. A lake with a dark secret. Amelia is mourning the loss of her older sister. But as the school year begins, Amelia accidentally receives a letter from the past. A list of goals her sister wanted to achieve. Now, driven by guilt and sadness, Amelia decides to make those goals her own. A few seem hard, others seem impossible. From you to me, how do you move forward when all you want is to go back? Look for it at your Scholastic Book Fair. <laughs> 